following is from a cooperative project for acquiring skills essential to learning. Chuck's my name. Photography's my game. That's Ginger, star director. Herbie, sound man and great writer. And that's Mr. Callahan, our teacher. He's pretty happy about this movie we made for him. Guess where he's taking it. At this time, we're raising a boarding with our life, flight 952. Bump the rows from 8 through 14. Well, I'll tell you. He's starting on a trip around the world. A kind of working vacation. That's what he called it when he first told us about it. I'll be budgeting for something about as long as the film you made for the cable station. Five minutes. Right. They like us at the TV station. They'll let us use their Super 8 equipment if they go for the idea. Well, I'll be visiting a lot of different schools on my trip, and I'd like the students I meet to get an idea of what it's like for my students here. That's what I'd like you to make a movie about. I bet the station will help us out with this project. And they did. So we decided to work the same way we had on our first movie. Ginger would be the director. This is I'd be the cameraman. And Herbie was going to write yeah. the script and record the sound. The Thundering Three were on their way. Yeah. Writing the script was tough on Herbie, though, because it wasn't like he was trying to get the main idea of our movie across to people here. We had to keep remembering the audience would be from foreign countries, so we kept having to rewrite the script until we were all pretty sure I mean you would get across to them. So far, so good. We all thought the main idea should be about how kids have a lot of fun, but how they have a lot of responsibilities, too. Kind of how work and play go together. But see, at first, Harvey wrote a story about this brother and sister. This is how we're going to shoot it. Jack is visiting one take one. Action. I don't even want to hear about it. I'm going to go play with Johnny today. Jack's chores. Take out the garbage and clean up your room. Gosh. Susan's chores. Take the clothes off of the clothesline. Clean up your room. Set the table. We work all day at school and then we have to do this, too. It's not that much, Jack. You know Mom and Dad can't do everything. I guess you're right. It's just that I feel like having some fun after school. We're going skating tonight, and that'll be fun. We just have to do our share of the work first. Yeah. Cut. Cut. Oh, oh this life is terrible. You should have gotten the cookies. Then we remembered the audience. First off, most of them won't speak English, and there was a lot of talk in the script. Plus, if we only had two kids in the movie, the audience maybe wouldn't realize there are all different kinds of kids here. Anyway. That's the script we ended up with. No talking, just music and sound effects. Music's kind of a universal language, we thought. You see, there'd be these four kids. They'd be from different races and different backgrounds. In the first part of the movie, each kid would be doing a different kind of work. And then the last scene, they'll all meet at the amusement park and ride the bumper cars to have a real great time. That should get our meaning across. But you'll have to make sure the meaning gets across in the movie because you're the director. Why is that, Chuck? Were you thinking about the communication process? Uh-huh. You see, instead of the script, now the movie will be the message. Yeah, so Ginger will be taking over me as a sender. But the receiver will still be the same. Kids all over the world. So, as the director, it was Ginger's job to make sure the meaning of each scene would get across to the audience.
Deciding how to get the meaning across to your audience depends a lot on what you think the audience will get best. Even when you're just trying to decide where to shoot a scene, like the fourth one we had to do. Where do I shoot more delirious papers? How about Clancy Street? There are some really neat houses on Clancy. I could get some dynamite shots. I don't know. Do we want the audience to think everybody here's a millionaire? I wish I had that route. No dogs, no hills, and everybody pays on time. It's great. Well, the whole point of the scene's supposed to be about how delivering papers is hard work. Wait a minute. What once said just gave me an idea for a location? You know where Botany Bay is? It had that giant hill. Forget it, Ginger. Just walking up that street is hard enough, let alone pedaling up on a bicycle full of newspapers. Well, at that location, the audience would get a point better than if we use Clancy Street, don't you think? Okay, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Are you awake? Yeah. Okay, I'll give you a single more set, okay? Okay, great. We're ready! Okay, we need a few more minutes! Wait for my signal! So how do you want me to shoot this? I'm trying to picture the different ways in my mind. I've thought of two. One way would be to start all the way zoomed into the corner. He rides in. Then we keep pulling back as he gets closer. But think about the audience. That way, they'd never really see how tough this hill is. They'd be seeing how hard he's pumping. I guess the show he's working hard. The other way would be to start wide, so the audience sees how steep the hill is. Then, as he starts to pump up, we zoom in to a close-up of him to show how much he's straining. I like that better. The audience would know he was going to have to work hard to get up the hill, even before they saw him straining. I like it the first way. The audience can see on his face how it's getting harder and harder to keep going. Well, I think we get our meaning across better. You know, it's hard work delivering papers if the audience could see the whole hill first so they could think about how hard it would be if they had to ride up it. Come on, you guys. I think you're right, Chuck. Okay, we're rolling. Come on, Mort. Mort. Cut, cut, cut. Even though Mort would have rather slept some more, we finally did shoot the scene and it looked good. That meant we only had one more to go. The bumper cars. You know, it just occurred to me that when Mr. Callahan is in zombie essay, the kids there might not think this is fun at all. Yeah, I forgot how crazy this is. So we know it's fun. We just have to think about how to shoot it so that the fun will get across to the audience. Well, I think we need a real wide shot of the amusement park. That should come first, so the audience can see all the rides and the people, and then kind of get the idea this is where people come to have fun. Then we need a few shots of the kids that makes it look like they're having a good time just being here. Yeah, so it'd be like getting the audience ready. I'd be thinking, what are those kids so happy about? Wait, I just had an idea. I'll drive a bumper car and Chuck can get in with me. He can shoot as I drive around, like the camera was the driver. That way, the audience could be driving around, too. They'd have to get our meaning then, because it'd be like they were driving around, having a good time themselves. Plus, we'll definitely need all sorts of close-ups on everybody's faces. See what I mean? You know, I think this is going to work. Let's do it. Here. Let's do it. Well, we finished shooting the last scene for our movie that day, but we still had a lot more work to do. I know that. I know. They look really hot. After we got the film back from the lab, we had to edit out all the bad shots and then put together the good ones so they followed the script. Okay. 
Let's Wait. keep that thing. That's, no. that's a good one. That's Use a pretty it. good one. Yeah. No. Nuh-uh. But then we still had to do the soundtrack. I'm sorry, but it was not my fault. Okay, we have the soundtrack, except for the bumper car scene. Now let's decide on some music. Well, I thought this might be good. See what you think. You ready? Ready, Teddy. I'm set. Okay, start. Wait a minute. I'm sorry, you guys. I must have put in the wrong tape. Man, can you imagine what the audience would think if we used that? Okay, I'm ready. Set, go. What do you think? I don't like it. Let's talk for a second. I'm afraid the audience might think it's like the Army or the Navy or something like that. All right. Listen to this one. Go, Chet. Pretty good, isn't it? This is the song. We have it. Well, that's how we made our movie. We were lucky to get it done on time. Now the only thing we can do is hope that the audience gets our meaning. Think About is supported by state and provincial agencies working through the Agency for Instructional Television. Together, serving education.